so Keith, we've talked a lot about in 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 the the main episode of the show about um, all these amazing locations around the world that you've been to film birds, to film wildlife. Uh, where would you say was your has been your favorite destination in the world for birding or filming birds? Honest to God, this is going to sound cliche, but I would say Colombia. <laughs> Colombia was was so eye opening, and um, I think I think what it was was the the sheer abundance and diversity was life-changing i would say colombia is the the top of my list right now and your dream destination in the future colombia <laughs> <laughs> we need a different answer i think <laughs> my actually i would i would like to go i've been to papua new guinea once but it was a very short trip i would love to go back to png and really kind of immerse myself down there and and you know, get into those birds of paradise, get into some of the other endemics that they have in that area. And, uh, and also a, a close second would actually be Australia, which has so many incredible birds. And every trip I've done to Australia, it, there's never been that component built into it. It's always been this tertiary thing where I just happen to be around and get to see something remarkable. So Papua New Guinea, uh, Papua New Guinea and Australia are, are two places I really, really want to go and invest some time in. Yeah, Papua New Guinea's one that I... Yeah, that's a big dream, I think, for any birder, right, Diego? Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. I mean, like, like the real mannequins on asteroids that there are there, you know, the birds of paradise, <laughs> man, like... Actually, Keith, what's, what's the... What's the uh, I mean, like, the, the, the farthest away, more isolated bird you've seen, like, probably, which one? In the Everest or something like that? Like, what's, what's that? Everything you see up in Everest, I believe it's in the... I want to say it's in the Raven family, right? Is that correct? Uh -huh, uh -huh. So I'm seeing those high altitude birds um, is crazy. You're seeing, you're, I remember being up at advanced base camp, which is, you know, around 22,500 feet, 23,000 ish, so way up there, right? You get a headache and you're sitting there and you're watching birds like way above you, just flying around as with Mount Everest as the backdrop. And you're just thinking to my, yourself, like, how, how do these, what are they doing up here? What is, what is attracting them to come to this elevation? And, and I would also say the same about when you're in the deep polar Arctic, like the snow petrels are a great example. It's so uninhibitable out there. I don't know why you would ever, ever go to locations like that to and then and, and raise chicks. <laughs> birds, birds all over, all over the planet, on every habitat, every ecosystem. It's just marvelous. Yeah.